Hi, everybody. Pastor Ken here at Faith Bridge. I wanted to bring you a little year end update. So several weeks ago, I gave a twofold challenge to our whole church. The first part of that challenge was for everybody who's maybe gotten a little rusty in some of the tried and true, uh, just age old, well-tested spiritual disciplines or spiritual rhythms that are always found in growing Christians. What are those? Daily prayer, daily Bible reading, and generosity. And just said, you know what? I just have a feeling that, oh, throughout our whole church, any number of people kind of fallen off the wagon on those, maybe gotten a little rusty. Why don't we just renew our commitment to stepping back into those rhythms without which we just really can't grow stronger uh, in our faith and in our relationship with the Lord. I said, no guilt, no embarrassment, no shame. Let's just roll up our sleeves and let's just get back into those rhythms of daily prayer, Bible reading and generosity. And so I'm trusting that you're making progress with that. And if you haven't, I hope that you'll step in even now. We set out a second challenge on the same day. We call that the stand in the gap challenge. Realizing how much of our congregation uh, is vocationally employed in the oil and the gas world, or as it is with any number, not employed right now in those industries due to the economy. And we realized there was gonna be a shortfall uh, created from those people who, several of whom met with me and said, even in tears, we feel so badly, but we can't make a year end donation. We can't make a year end gift because we don't, we're not even earning any money. We're living off of savings. And we just realized, you know what? We're a, we're a, a large church now. Now. And there's any number of other people who have jobs that are going fine and, and people who are doing well. And we said, why don't we just come around these families and we can fill this gap so that the whole church finishes strong. And we set out a second bucket or a second fund and we named it the Stand in the Gap Fund. And we put a number on it, which is a big number, a stout number uh, of 500000 thousand dollars but we said you know what we just believe that if people will be faithful to respond to the promptings the nudgings of the Lord uh, and give as he uh, nudges us to do this is very very attainable and so that was with 27 days left in the year Today, when I'm recording, we have 10 days left in the year. So there's been a passing of 17 days. A lot's happened in 17 days. We just crossed the $420,000 mark on this $500,000 goal, which says to me, I believe it is absolutely attainable. I have every anticipation that we're gonna be able to close the gap 100% before we finish the year and all finish together strong. And what a blessing that'll be as we roll into 2017. Um, as a healthy functioning uh, church in our community. And so I wanna say thank you to the many of you who have said, I'm gonna be part of the Gap Fund and you've given above and beyond your normal giving extra uh, offerings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Many of you stepped in and said, I've never even made a gift before, but I want to do that. Now it's time for me to do that. And you've done that. And I wanna say thank you to you. Uh, uh, any number of us still haven't, you know, taken part of it yet. Maybe it's just because of busyness. Any number of people probably saying, you know what? I, that's on my list of things to do. About 100 things I've got to do here in the Christmas week. And I understand that it's a busy season, but we still got 10 days. So there's time yet to do it. You could even do it right now if you just follow the link on your phone or your computer or whatever you're watching on. And you could even do it right now. So you be prayerful and just step faithfully into whatever the Lord says, this is what I would like for you to do. And together we'll finish the year strong and fill that gap all the way. So 
Good news, I'll give you another update as we come towards the end of the year. And I'll look forward to seeing Christmas Eve at one of our services. Be thinking about and praying about who you'll bring, a neighbor, a relative, a friend, or all the above. And we'll see you Christmas Eve. Merry Christmas.